Okay, so here we go. I got the auto loader attached and the scanner is set up and all ready to go. <clears throat> There's absolutely no instructions with this at all. I had to kind of figure everything out myself, but the auto loader kind of sits on the back here and feeds slides into the scanner from above and going down through. They give you these little feet here to attach to make the height just right. They also give you these stilts for the scanner so it sits up off the table and you can keep feeding slot or uh, cards in um, and then they give you this catch bin here i think this holds 250 300 cards something like that so right now i'm kind of limited i can't really put a thousand in there but i was kind of making sure that i didn't overfill it so that should be about right i'll fill it just to the top so i think there's about 250 to 300 cards right there. Um, so what do you do? I did see a demo on how it works. I didn't see any demos on how to put it together. <coughs> but you, uh, there's two belts here. They're kind of styrofoam belts. So you start feeding the cards down into the scanner. And then, so you turn this on and get it feeding. And you probably hear it. I'll see them start to drop down and then once I see them dropping down I'm going to come over here on the software Oop, let's get this ready to go here as soon as I start dropping down I hit the scan button and then the rate of this feed is supposed to be supposed to be equal to the rate of this scan it was about one card per second so we'll see how it works here <coughs> um, once I get comfortable with this and feel pretty good about how it works, I'll make some kind of larger bin. Okay, here we go. They're starting to drop. Oops. All right, come over here. And here we go. You can see them feeding through the window up here. I will say these cards that aren't laminated or anything, it handles those pretty good. I was playing around without this auto loader last night and there was no jams at all with these, this kind of card. And the good thing is most of them are without sleeves, plastic sleeves. Looks like we're getting down to the bottom there. And maybe not. Should fill up about right here. So while it pauses, okay, that's it. Oh wait, what about this one? You can remove the documents. Ooh, uh, it says there's a. Let's me try here. There we go. Retry again. It keeps jamming. Don't like that. Ooh, we're getting there. The bin is empty. Now we turn this off. And there we are. And then over here, oops, it was telling me um, there's everything that it saved automatically to the hard drive. Let's close this. And I'll save these. So there's everything that got scanned in. Right there.
I think it's actually scanning more than oh, a card a second. It seemed like it went pretty fast. I also noticed some of the cards, um, some of these, <clears throat> these were a little bit too long for the spin, but I noticed these adjustment screws on the back here. I think you can make this wider. I haven't played around with that yet. I got to try that and see if I can find any more information on it before I play around with it. But anyway, next part of this, uh, part two will be uploading these to cardealerpro.com and it will identify all of them and fill, uh, populate the name and the team and the year and all that stuff. Everything that's on the card, it's basically doing OCR and filling in that information and then you can export a spreadsheet from it.